Hello, I'm Mathieu Donnera, and today I'm very excited to share with you the work we have been doing with NVIDIA to extend the benefits of TAO to the entire STM32 microcontroller ecosystem. ST Microelectronics is one of the world's largest semiconductor companies. With over 50,000 employees and more than 200,000 customers around the globe. We are the number one general purpose microcontroller supplier, with more than 11 billion STM32 delivered since 2007, and more than 2 million developers over the last five years. As AI and machine learning continue to transform the world, there is an increasing need for better perception at the far edge. This means doing AI at the edge, and then informing the more complex AI that is occurring downstream, whether on the GPU, at the edge, or in the cloud. This far-edge AI can be achieved using microcontrollers, but since they, by design, have constrained memory and computational capacity, and are designed for ultra-low power, it has been challenging to run larger artificial intelligence models on them. For the first time, we will make it possible to integrate complex models into STM32 microcontrollers with the latest version of TAO. Thanks to the collaboration between NVIDIA and ST, we are talking about doing it in a few clicks. Let's take a specific example of computer vision running on the NVIDIA Jetson. We can add a STM32 microcontroller running an accurate people presence detection neural network to trigger the Jetson inference only when people are present in the room. From now on, the challenge is to fit the neural network into the STM32 and to obtain adequate performances. If we directly use our STM32cube.ai compiler to convert the neural network into optimized C code, we find that the memory size is too large and we can only run at 1 FPS. Whereas to trigger efficiently the JSON processing, we should reach at least 5 FPS. Today, we will see how developers can seamlessly train and implement neural networks models on resource-constrained STM32 to achieve the right performance. I will walk you through the whole process, including the input of a neural network model, its training and optimization with TAO Toolkit, and the generation of the C code with the STM32cube.ai tool. By the way, I mentioned stm32cube.ai and maybe some of you don't know what it is. It's a bit like a Tantor RT for STM32 microcontrollers. You can input any neural network model in the tool to get optimized C code for your microcontroller. With the latest version of stm32cube.ai, we introduced support for the quantized ONNX input format, the same format generated by Tao Toolkits. This demonstration is based on a Jupyter Notebook, which is derived from NVIDIA's Getting Started Classification TF2 Bring Your Own Model. After choosing the model, you will need to train it with your own dataset using TAO fine-tuning functionality. This helps to save time and resources versus a full model training. After the training on the person-no-person -person dataset, the accuracy reach is around 87%. After training the model, you can optimize it using tau pruning in a single click. This technique reduces the size of the model and improves its efficiency, which is really important for resource-constrained targets like the microcontroller. In our experiment, we achieved a pruning ratio of 5 without compromising the accuracy. Next, you can quantize the model to further compress it by using integer representation instead of float. This step is done through ONNX runtime. The generated quantized ONNX model is natively supported by STM32cube.ai from the version 8.0 onwards. After the quantization, the accuracy is still very close from the initial model. Now that we have a pruned and quantized model, let's evaluate its performance on the STM32 target. Thanks to STM32cube.ai developer cloud, this can be done in a few clicks from simple Python code, and it does not require any additional installation. For this, you just need to create an account on SM32Cube.ai Developer Cloud. You will need the credentials in the following steps to access the service. You can see here that I was able to connect to the online platform successfully. 
Let's upload our model to the developer cloud platform and select the desired optimization setting for the C code generation. Once the model is uploaded, we can launch an analysis of the model to get its optimized memory footprint. At the end of this process, that generally takes less than a minute, you will see the resulting memory footprint for the model. The result gives us the flash size required by the model to store the weights of the neural network and the associated runtime code. It provides also the RAM used by the activation buffers and by the runtime. The next step is to benchmark the model on a STM32 target to get its latency. The benchmark can be run on several different boards representative of the wide range of STM32s. So let's first retrieve the list of boards present on the STM32cube.ai developer cloud. We will launch a benchmark on all the boards available. In return, we receive the latency information for each STM32 MCU in the list. We can simply compare the performance on the different boards, ranging from our ultra-low power STM32 U5 with 2.5 FPS to our high performance MCU STM32 H735 with 12 FPS. We can then generate the optimized C code for STM32 MCU, ready to be integrated in your final application. To do this, just select the STM32 series and request the code generation. You are then ready to deploy in your STM32 application. What used to be very hands-on and time-demanding is now scripted and what will lead to unusable performances now gives you twice the minimum required FPS. Overall, we have been able to fit all the code into the internal memory of the selected microcontroller and reach 9 frames per second, which is the right latency to trigger efficiently the JSON processing. Here is the proof of concept we developed in our labs in France. The STM32H7 on top is using its own camera to detect people presence and it's connected to the JSON with the PIO interface. Here you can see that when a presence is detected, the JSON is waking up to process the signal coming from the camera. With the integration of Tau Toolkit, STM32 developers now have access to a complete AI training and optimizing ecosystem. And NVIDIA users will have the possibility to go a step further in their application optimization with distributed far-edge AI on STM32 microcontrollers. And by the way, everything we have shown today will be available when Tau Toolkit will be open sourced. You will be able to pick the model, train it on your own dataset, and benchmark it on any STM32 in a few clicks. And all this for free. Thank you for your attention.